you're considering moving to the Triangle and wondering the best place for a family to move yep. to within the different regions of the Triangle, that's what we're going to be talking about today. So stick around. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the channel or welcome back. I'm Zach, this is my beautiful wife, Cindy. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button in the corner. You can also hit the bell to be notified of every time we release a new video. Uh, that number on the screen, we put it there because we are licensed real estate agents in the area, which means as much as we love to make these videos for you, we love to help you with your real estate needs even more. So if you've got any questions about the area, any questions about real estate in the area, we'd love, love, love to chat with you. So feel free to reach out. With all that being said, like Cindy said, today's video is on the top areas of the triangle to live. Uh, if you have a family, I mean, in general, the triangle is loaded, in my opinion, with great places for families. Uh, we're gonna hit the top one. So just a few caveats when we think of areas that are good for families. There's a couple of things we're thinking about. One is schools. So what are the schools like? Uh, two is park access. So does the area have good parks? Does it have good activities for the family? Third is safety. Those are the three things I think of when I think of where do I want my family to live? In right. What areas would, would I want to raise our kids? And so that's the criteria we're using for this video. Yeah, so, and I'll anyway. add a fourth one, and that's um, other amenities being convenient. Um, cause we it's have twin one. toddlers that are two, and that's another good. on the way. And the worst thing I can think of—not another set of twins. Yeah. Oh, another, yeah. another, yeah. One. another one. Just one. <laughs> Just one. Thank you. Um, yes, thank goodness. Um, but like. Oh my gosh, our twins hate being in the car. Like the worst thing yep. I could think of is having to drive like 45 minutes to the grocery store. So I'm yeah. also, we're also kind of keeping in mind like, okay, is it easy to like go to the store yeah. and like get what you need yeah. for your kids? Or is it gonna be like a big haul to get yeah. there? So convenience factor is also being thrown in. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna start off with Wake Forest. Yep. Uh, we love Wake Forest. These are in no particular order from what we think is like the best or anything, just yeah. four that we think are good. So Wake Forest, um, is one of our favorite towns around the area. Yep. Um, Zach actually lived there for a while while he was in school. And mm -hmm. um, when we first met, I commuted back and forth from Durham yep. to Wake Forest and um, to like meet up with him and stuff and just kind of fell in love with the area. Um, mainly because of like- I thought you were gonna say fell in love with me, but- Oh, I did. <laughs> yeah, it has so much green space in my opinion. Like yeah. has this beautiful park that's probably my favorite park in the triangle called Joyner Park. Um, I just love Joyner Park. It's hard to really describe it, but it's like yeah, huge. Um, since Zach and I got married, we didn't live there anymore. But since then, they've actually added like a rec center and a playground there. That's yeah. really nice. Um, it's got like walking trails, lots of like fields and like old farm looking buildings. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so it used to probably be some kind of historical place. I'm not really quite sure what it was in its former years, um, but it's just gorgeous there. And there's a lot of other parks and green spaces yeah. in Wake Forest as well. They have some trail systems and stuff through there. Yep. Um, and that's just one thing we really like about it. Yeah. Um, it has developed really quickly over a it short it amount gets, of time. It can be really congested in yeah. Wake Forest, I think. Yeah. So some of the main roads can be a little congested. So I'd say that's probably one of the bigger cons to Wake Forest. Mm -hmm. The biggest con is its location. It's north of Raleigh. So if you want easy access to North Raleigh, it's perfect. Yeah. But if you need to get into like RTP or Durham yeah. and stuff like that. It can feel kind of removed just because it's so far north. Yeah. Um, it's not bad. I mean, it's like, what, 25 minutes probably to downtown Raleigh or something yeah. like that from most places. Um, and to get to Durham is about a 40 minute drive. So, yeah. you know, it's it's not great. And it, the reason I think it feels far away is you kind of only have like two road systems that lead you into the rest of the triangle. To get to Durham, you have Highway 98 and it's just like one lane on both sides for like a good portion of it. So that can yeah. feel really slow and congested. And then you have Capitol Boulevard, which if you ask any local is like the road you want to avoid, honestly. Yeah. It's just like it's a highway, but it has stoplights, you know, so it's just annoying to yeah. it's just stop and go the whole way to get into yeah. Raleigh. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but Wake Forest, great option if you have a family. The second one that I would say is Hillsboro. It's the smallest of the ones that we're gonna talk about today. Um, the amenities in Hillsboro are gonna be 
less than any that, that, that we're going to talk about today. They're like your your options for grocery stores are not going to be what they are in Wake Forest or um, we're going to talk about carrying Apex here in a minute. Um, but Hillsboro, there's some great like trail access. There's great parks. Uh, the school system is good. It, it's just. It's just a neat, it's a neat area. I, yeah. I love Hillsboro. The downtown in Hillsboro, like I said, it's very small compared to these it's, other yeah, towns. It's, so it's, it's hard. It's not. It's like apples and these. oranges compared yeah. to them. But if you like the small town feel, but you don't want it to be like, I don't know. I feel like it's like you have, it's more rural feeling, but it's not like the middle of nowhere. So yeah. there's a lot of like smaller developments where you yourself are not living rurally, but a lot of the country roads back yeah. there are just so beautiful to drive through and scenic. Um, yeah. yeah, I would just describe it as like scenic and historic, kind of like yeah. the downtown yeah. has a lot of rich history um, and just a really cute little downtown to yeah. walk around. Very safe. Like Zach mentioned, there's a trail system there. Um, they call it like the Riverwalk Trail yep. and it's like paved and it goes along the Eno River and it has some parks alongside of it and that's just so nice. Our boys yeah, love that is. trail. Um, the train runs beside it so they're like all about that when yeah. that happens. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we love love that. It's super clean in Hillsboro, really yep. safe feeling. Um, you know, it's smaller so it doesn't feel too congested. You know, the downtown roads can feel a little bit congested like at the 5 p.m. Yeah. time frame and stuff but in general not a lot of traffic going no. through there and just it's just sweet a sweet little town yeah quaint i love hillsborough that's honestly out of all the ones that we mentioned today hillsborough is probably where we spend the majority of our time with our kids and there's just there's just a lot of spaces where you can just like let them let them out and let them run and yes. which is which is just really nice and necessary so, for us yeah <laughs> burn some of that energy out <laughs> but but yeah it's just it's it's yeah i love hillsborough so so next on our list is carrie if you're watching this video and you've already been exploring family friendly areas you've probably carrie. already googled carrie yeah it's um, probably top of your list yeah honestly. yeah by just word of mouth and stuff like the people love Cary. Yep. They really do. I love it too. Um, it's a really great town. Yeah, there's it really. Is. It's hard to come up with like cons of Cary. Like, it's perfect pretty much. Besides yeah. that, it's the most expensive on our list today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like that. I mean that that is the one con against yeah. Cary yeah. is yeah. is the price point. But when it comes to amenities, neighborhood options, schools, parks, it has it it's all. It's great. So. It was very well planned. Like I. That sounds weird when you talk about like an area being planned out, but yeah. um, like the road systems and neighborhoods, it's like everything just feels like yeah. this was meant to be here. And, yeah. you know, there's not sometimes like when you're in Wake Forest, which we already mentioned, like it feels like it was rapidly developed. And yeah. so sometimes it feels like maybe this could have been planned a little bit better. It's not bad, but, you know, maybe they could have planned this road system better or something like that. But when you're in yeah. Cary, I feel like it was just really well done and yeah. there's a like lot like you could of tell like Carrie's growth plan was established long before it reached where it is today yeah which is just really it's kind of amazing yeah, yeah it really is yeah and there's a lot of like master planned communities in Carrie, yep. which is cool so if you love the idea of getting to know like your neighbors and having yeah. neighborhood events there's a lot of great neighborhoods in Carrie, yeah. and i think that's what makes it really great for families because they are family-centered type yep. neighborhood it's just a very family-centered kind of place really and it's really close to the Research Triangle Park and Highway yep. 40. So that makes it, I think that's why it's the hot, the most expensive yeah, on convenient. the list. Very convenient, yep. great school systems. It's falls within the Wake County school system, but you know, the Cary schools themselves are really good. The downtown is really cute. Always making improvements too, I yeah. feel like, which is nice. Last on the list, they're not last, but they're the last ones we'll talk about is we're gonna lump together Apex and Holly Springs. So if you're looking at a map, Apex and Holly Springs are pretty pretty close. They're they're south of Cary. Great, great, great options for families. And a lot of it is for similar reasons. There's neighborhoods in Apex and neighborhoods in Holly Springs that are just, just really nice. Yeah. Some really nice places to live. The schools are good once again. The parks are plentiful. I mean, if you if you drive through neighborhoods in Apex, there's a decent chance there's a Greenway Trail. Yeah. attached to it and, and carry as well but yeah, yeah. carry carry as well apex, holly springs yeah. it's it, growing they're great yeah yeah it's growing yeah. yeah i feel like apex feels like if you really love carry but maybe you can't 
quite afford carry. Apex and Holly Springs are a great option. They're a yeah. little bit less convenient because they're slightly further, but there is some like major highway construction going on in yeah. the area that I think is going to loop it together really nice, but it's highway construction. So let's be honest, could be could be five to 10 years before we like see the fruits of all of that. Um, but, you know, about half of it is done, yeah. which maybe I don't know when it actually started. Um, probably five or 10 years ago. I don't know, maybe longer. Um, but yeah, it feels similar to Cary in that like a lot of green spaces, like the neighborhoods feel similar where they're like bigger master plan neighborhoods and communities with like amazing yeah. pools. Some of them have like shopping or we were driving through, in the neighborhood. We were driving through a neighborhood today in Holly Springs. What was the neighborhood? Wood Creek. Wood Creek. It's Care. actually in half of it's in the Apex and half is in Holly Springs. It's true. Half, so it's yeah, the perfect half neighborhood in, to talk yeah. about right now. <laughs> Their pool complex. Oh my gosh. They had a lazy river. It was crazy. Had the it mushroom was, fountain thing. It was crazy. And the pool and the playground and everything. Yeah. It looked so much fun. It was like, it was something that you would pay to enter. Like, like I would yeah. pay money to go into that. Yeah, which, it felt like a resort at the beach or something. Yeah, it was yeah. it was wild. It was, it was really neat. Yeah, I wanna I wanna gain access to their yeah. Uh, yeah. pool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's how a lot of the communities there are. Might not have a lazy river, but a lot of the pools yeah. are like, they aren't just like a rectangle pool, yeah, you know? Like they're like, nice. they have slides and all this cool stuff. Like yeah. so much cooler than what I, well, my neighborhood growing up, we didn't even have a pool, but so much cooler than my friend's pools growing up yeah. and stuff like that. Like these are some yeah. cool community pools, awesome amenities. Um, shopping is plentiful in, in Apex yep. and Holly Springs. You're not gonna be like, oh, but I'm further away from Raleigh. So does that mean I don't have to drive to Raleigh there's, to go shopping? No. There's parts of Holly Springs where shopping is, is far away when you get to the southern portions. Yeah, so. yeah, well, that's true. Yeah, but there's a lot within Holly Springs, you know, yeah. and within Apex and stuff. Yeah. It seems like more there even than we have in Durham, I think, where that's yep. where we really live. Um, so kind of amazing how much yeah. they have there. Yeah, it is. All right, so those are the top areas to live in the triangle for families. We've got Wake Forest, Hillsboro, Cary, and then we combined Apex and Holly Springs. So I guess it's really five areas. We just, for sake of time, we combined Apex and, and Holly Springs. They're close together, so. Yeah, they, they are close <laughs> together. So anyway, thanks so much for tuning in to today's video. Like we said earlier, if you have not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button in the corner. And you can also hit the bell to be notified of every time we release a new video. Uh, like we also said earlier, that number on the screen, that is our number. We're the ones that respond to those text messages and those phone calls. Um, so if you have questions about the area, questions about real estate in the area, uh, we would love, love, love to chat with you. So feel free to reach out. Yes, you can also follow along with us on social media. Um, if yep. you type us in on Instagram or Facebook at The Honeycut Realtors, yep. or you can find our website, honeycutrealtors.com. We'd love to see you there. If you just Google Honeycut Realtors, it should pop right up yep. for you. But thanks again for tuning in and we will see y'all next time.